Two, please. Uh, Bhabi, I'm going out, so I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. And listen. How is photo session going on? Not bad. And why fun? I'm getting a headache, dude. They all look the same. <laughs> but I love the way they pose. They all go to the photo studios, pose with the flower vase next to them. <laughs> <laughs> and you should look at the bio datas. You know, this university, that degree, age, height, weight. I just don't understand how can a person be judged just on this criteria. But the more educated, the better. They can get job easily here. But she can't be more educated than you. Okay? <laughs> what if I meet someone? Yeah. When you get to India, then meet someone. No, I mean, what if I meet someone not from the list? You mean love marriage? Or don't talk about this filmy nonsense. Just find a nice looking girl who can work and cook. Cook. Oh my god. Sunita will kill me if she find out I'm drinking in the pub. I'm going. Do you have gum? Mama. Hi, Abhi. Beta, I have email sent you photos. I have seen it. 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 Look, if you like what you like, please give me a message quickly. Mom, I'm late. I'm going to the office. Okay, we'll talk later. Yes, bye, son. Bye. Bye, bye. Sunita, trust me. I swear I was not smoking. Don't lie to me, please. I can smell your clothes full of cigarette smoke. Where are you going? Have some breakfast, no? You're right, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to take my shower. I'll see you guys in the evening. Bye. Dude, Bobby's angry with you again. I mean, all this lies to your wife. Oh, shut up, yaar. Better just wait for six months and you watch yourself. What happened when you get married, okay? <laughs> Have you picked out any of the girls from the list which your mom and dad sent to you? No. Why not? It's not so easy, dude. You talk about it as if you're selecting fruits or vegetables. Oh, just pick up one, yaar. It's not a rocket science. I don't know. I just don't want the template life, you know? Bachelors, masters, job, marriage, wife, kids and then die. What's wrong with you, yaar? Mm, you don't have a girlfriend, do you? And who will fall for you anyway? <laughs> yes, sir, Monday. Thank you.
Yeah. Good. Sunita, hmm. did you notice? Looks like he selected someone. He's constantly smiling, you know. Look. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. You all right, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What is this? This? And nothing. You alright, yeah? Alright, yeah?
so finally we meet. Yeah. <laughs> it's Abby, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So do you always sneak photos through people's windows? What? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just kidding. I was a little bit bored, so I was... I know, I know. Just taking some photos. It's funny how we met. I never met anyone this way before. Have you? No, I haven't. It's a little weird, yeah. It's cute, I guess. <laughs> Where are you from? India, right? Yeah. Where are you from? Basco, actually. I've only been in London a month. Oh, is it? Yeah. How long have you been living here? Um, almost uh, two years. Really? Yeah. So you could, like, show me around then, if you're not busy. Now? Yeah. Why not? Okay. Yeah? Actually, we wanted to study photography, but ended up doing engineering. Yeah, and why engineering? In our place, we all do engineering first, and uh, then think about what we need to do later. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, but our parents want their kids to study engineering, IT, accounting, medicine, or something like that, so that the kids will end up getting better jobs. And then you came here. Yeah. My master's here. Mm -hmm. So, are all your family in Scotland? Yeah, yeah, they're all still there. I grew up in Glasgow and studied in Edinburgh. I was in Manchester for a while for work and then I got my job here. Nice. Thanks so much for today, Abby. See you tomorrow? Yeah. Um, no, I'm really... No, no, you take it. Oh, take it's... it, it's fine. Okay, fine. Um, okay, see you then. Okay. Bye. 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 Hey, Abhi, where have you been all day? Where are you? I just had some work, so I just went to finish. You're acting a little strange these days. Is everything okay with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right? Yeah. I wish my office was here. So, how are you finding a new job? I mean, the work's good. It's just the people, I don't know, they're, they're not really that open. It's, it's just not what I'm used to. I think I just need to give it more time. My team leader, Steve, he's really nice and he's made me feel really welcome. Um, what about your job? <laughs> Please don't ask, it's, it's hectic and boring. Oh. I'm, I'm quite able to do my job, mm. but I'm just doing it because I have to. Have to? Who's making you? <laughs> I mean, um, it's just not what I always wanted to do. What is it that you want to do? Uh, photography, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, if it's something you want, then you have to go for it. I wish. 
What if every job was paid the same salary? <laughs> then nobody has to work in a profession that they're not interested in, right? Mm, yeah, it's not really how the world works, though, is it? these days sometimes you should hear yourself speak cheese the channel yaar at least please for okay. god's sake So, um, Rosie says you're really talented. So, if you ever want to meet up and have a chat, why don't you give me a call? Sure, that'd be great. Thank you so much. I've got to go. It was nice to meet you. Cheers, man. See you later. Yeah, see you, Tony. Hey, that's good. So, how was your day? Hectic and boring <laughs> as usual. How was your day? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Work, work. job in Manchester. I broke up with my boyfriend and I didn't really want to stay there. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Don't be. He was cheating on me. I don't really understand why people can cheat. I I mean, can't you just leave a relationship with dignity? I really can't stand cheats and liars. Sorry. I guess I'm still emotional about it. That's okay. Um, I understand. But I hope you're not gonna jump in the water now. Here, I haven't
next to me Take me with you in your dreams In your dreams As I touch your beautiful face Feel the warmth of your embrace I don't know who's dreaming Is it you or me? I can feel the soul we are Beyond this world I see so love, wait for me Take me with you in your dreams Beyond the stars and all the light I'll dream with you Take me with you in your dreams Beyond the stars and all the light I'll dream with you forever tonight I really want to see your eye huh? Yeah Rosie Rosie, no, listen. Rosie, come on, I've seen it enough. I'll take you back. Rosie, please. Not what? Please, go. Okay, I've seen enough. No. You have to be quiet. I know you're here. Hey! What? Oh, I'm not going home. What now? I need to pee. See him, Abby's friend. Kishore. Nice. Sleep tight. What happened? I peed. And then I met Kishore. this job.
what you think. in with me. What? Why don't you move in with me? Don't you think it's a bit too soon for that? <laughs> yeah. I know, but I'm making a lot of excuses to get the office to see you early. <laughs> I've got a lot of work building up. Yeah, actually, it's the same case with me. So, why don't you move in? Um, Bobby, um, this is my friend Rosie. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, we met last night. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we'll see you guys later. Have some breakfast and go, no? Uh, no, Bobby, we're not hungry. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, uh, bye. It's really nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. He already had his dinner. Why would he have breakfast? You're right, yeah? So how was your day? Tiring. Mm, so I think you didn't sleep last night properly, man. You could introduce us before. Saleh. With whom? With her. Rosie, Bozy, whatsoever her name. When I saw her in the middle of the night, white skin face, I got scared. <laughs> I thought she's ghost. Look, I wanted to introduce her, but I didn't want you to wake you guys for it. She wanted to meet you guys though. And you know you are going back to India within three months. But uh, your dad will kill you. Seriously, man. You should meet her. She's... Me and Sunita are planning to celebrate your birthday here. Bring her here and we will meet her. Oh, so you remember my birthday? Come on, man. How can I forget your birthday, Mary Jan? Huh? You are my best friend since childhood, yeah. So, what about Bhabi? Is she okay with Rosie coming in? Don't worry about Bhabi. I will handle her. Um, I think she will handle you first. She will handle me first? No, she will handle me first. She will handle me first. <laughs> Marry her, mate. You will get citizenship straight away. Dude. You're unbelievable, man. <sighs> That's what they tell me. What? Nothing? It's okay. Take it, Rosie. It 
Do you want me to help you with the washing up? No, that's okay, Rosie. Night, then. Yeah, good night. house is not a home anymore. Oh. Chi, take your hand away. Bus, it's the committee. Sadi stupid life. Abhi, I need to speak to you. Do you want to About what? I don't know how to say it. Tell me it's okay. Sunita is not comfortable with you bringing Rosie home. So she's requesting Rosie doesn't come here anymore. What? I'm sorry, mate, but... No, no, I'm, I'm sorry if you cause Bobby any offense. Actually, we've discussed a couple of times of me moving in with Rosie. What? We, this is something serious. Are you sure? I thought about it, you know. And it's not like I'm going very far anyway. We're going to meet at the pub every weekend, right?
Just my friend Steve, you know, from work. He's just asking how the trip was. Okay. These are really nice. Did you speak to Tony? No, not yet. Why not? Why not? Because they're laying people off at work and I need extra hours to keep my job. Uh, yeah, well, if you started your career in photography, you wouldn't need your IT job. Look, why do you think everything is so simple? Just leave me alone. What did I say? I don't understand. You say you want a career in photography. We don't actually do anything about it. You've got to be honest with yourself if it's what you really want. What are you doing? Stop <laughs> Come on, lazy bum. Don't you have to get to work? Mm. Hello, baby. Yes. Actually, I have to finish some work. I will, I'll be a bit late. Yeah. You eat, you eat. Hmm. You eat, yeah. Okay. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> Long time. Long time. Come back. Cheers, man. Cheers. Hmm. <laughs> so, how's everything? Hmm. Since you left home, it's really boring in the house, man. But it's alright. How's your new roommate, huh? New roommate, huh? <laughs> new roommate, huh? She's alright. Where is she? You should have brought her as well. She actually went out with her friends. I think it's uh, best for both of us if we take some time out for ourselves. But if you give her too much time off, bete, she will find someone else and leave you, okay? <laughs> time off. No, I don't think Rosie is that kind of a girl. I didn't think you can get a girl here. And here, you are with an English girl, mate. <laughs> She's Scottish. Oh, same thing, yeah. <laughs> but don't get married yet. Marriage is not a word. It's a sentence. Life sentence, Ali. <laughs> You know, my mum wants to know all about you. You told her about us? Yeah. That I'm living here? Yeah. I mean, it's not really a big deal. But obviously she cares whether I'm happy or not and what kind of person you are. What if they don't approve? I approve. It's enough. What about your parents? <clears throat> Would they approve of me? 
Isn't um, arranged marriage a common thing in India? Yeah. And my parents think I'll be happy if I get married into a rich family. <laughs> what do you think? What's the worth of all the money if I'm not happy? I really think a person has to be in love with the one they marry. And what kind of girl do you want to marry? A simple Indian girl who can cook. <laughs> You know, I'm going to see my parents next weekend in Scotland. You should come. Don't worry, they won't make you get married. <laughs> um, honestly, I would love to come, but um, I've got a lot of work pending overseas, so maybe some other time. Okay. <laughs> Do I really have to come to your office party? I don't even know anyone there. Tony's gonna be there. Okay. Okay. Zip me up. Sure. How do I look? Quite revealing. No, it's not. Don't you like it? I like it, but I don't like others to see. <sighs> Stop being such an old man. Come on, let's go. Cool project? Yeah, yeah, I should have some good stuff coming up. Oh, cool. Cool. maybe Abby for the first too. Yeah, why not? Be good. Yeah. That'll be great. So what are you working on? Oh, it's this thing with uh, Vogue and Topics. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well. I'll just see you in a bit. Yeah. Good to see you, mate. Yeah. Good to see you. Bye. Abby, this is Steve. Hi. Hi. Great to finally meet you. Nice to meet you. Rosie's told me lots about you. Really? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have a pool party at my place soon. We should come. Oh, yeah. Sure. Great. You can go shop for the keys. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he could get you some photography work, you know. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Doesn't seem like nothing. Said nothing. What is it? Abby? I didn't like Steve standing so close to you at the party. What? 
Bobby, he's just my friend. Wait. Are you jealous? No, I'm not. It's <laughs> really so silly. <laughs> Come on. Hama. Bita, aap to hame bhool hi gaye. Phone tak nahi uthate aaj kal hamara. Hmm, kya baat hai? Kuch nahi, maa bas kaam mein thoda busy tha. Abi, are you ready to go? कौन है वो? अभी? अभी? कुछ नहीं माँ, बस टीवी था। बेटा, तू आजकल बहुत बिजी है क्या? हाँ, तू सुन रहा है ना? हाँ हाँ माँ। अच्छा एक बात बता बेटा, तू आजकल पापा का भी मेल का जवाब नहीं दे रहा है, वो काफी नाराज हैं। प्लीज बच्चे जरा जल्दी भेज। एक काम कर। किशोर को फोन दे दे मैं बात करती हूँ वो तुझे याद दिला किशोर माँ किशोर बाहर गया किसी काम से अच्छा ठीक है लेकिन बेटा प्लीज डैड को मेल करना मत भूलना प्लीज बेटा ठीक है माँ मैं मैं भेजता Nothing, it's just a general chat. Oh, she sounds so sweet. Uh, I'll just go get ready. Kishore mm -hmm. must be waiting at the pub. Huh? Why did you bring her, yaar? You're the one who told me not to give her too much free time. I was just kidding, yaar. Don't worry, she'll leave soon. She's just waiting for her friends. Okay, man. Oh, hi, Rosie. Here we go. Thank you. Actually, I should get this. Oh, no, it's okay. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's really nice to see you, Kishore. It's been a while. Yeah, nice to see you as well, actually. Why you don't guys come home this weekend? Oh, I'm, I'd love to, but I'm actually going back up to Scotland to see my parents. Maybe another time. Is uh, is not going with you? No, although I've asked him plenty of times. Come on, I told you why I can't. We've already talked about this, didn't we? Steve's calling. I've got to go. It's really nice to see you, Kishore. Nice to see you. Take care, bye. Hi, Steve. Steve. Who's this Steve? He's her boss at work. They are good friends. Oh, good friends. Boss, good friends. Boss, good friends. Boss. Rosie, get up. It's seven thirty. Mm -hmm. I'm too tired after traveling. You're going to be late for work. I'll ask Steve if I can work from home today. Okay. Can I use your laptop today? Sure. Have a good day. Okay, see you later. Bye. Ciao. Hi. How are you? Hello. I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Not bad. It's really nice to see you. I saw Kishore last week. Kishore? Where? At the pub. Didn't you say? At the pub? Oh, yes, of course. Hope you had a good time. 
I'm sorry, I have to go. Okay. Nice to see you. Bye. Yeah, bye. Hi. Hey. How was your day? It was alright. Well, guess what? I saw Sunita earlier. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't think she likes me very much. You don't worry too much about her. Mm. I've been getting these email confirmations from some photography competitions. It's weird, I didn't even apply for any. I did. You did? What do you mean? I told you it was a waste of time. Why didn't you ever listen? What's your problem, Abby? You didn't have the time, so I did it for you. I thought I was being nice. What? I'm sorry, okay? I won't do it again. I need some dough. I said I was sorry. Why did you have to tell Sunita about Kishore at the pub? What do you mean? Kishore said that you told Sunita he was at the pub. So? Sunita doesn't know that Kishore goes to the pub. Why do you have to interfere? Well, how the hell was I supposed to know that? And why is he hiding it from her anyway? Why can't you guys just be honest? Don't talk about guys, alright? I know what you girls are like. What do you mean, you girls? I saw Steve's messages. Love you, kisses. What was that all about? You read my messages. Why did you even touch my phone? Alright, I'll check the sequel server. Okay. The deadline for this is five o'clock. Okay, sure. Yama. Abhi, beta kya sa hai? Fine, ma. Achha, son, your father wants to talk to you. One minute, son. Ma, ma, no, ma. Hello, dad. Yes, son. One minute, son. Keep your hands together, son. How many years have you been working? Yes, son. Have you seen the links? Yes, son. Why did you send me a reply? How many months have you been here? I'm going to book a ticket for your next month. I'm going to book a ticket for you. Okay? Dad, no. Bye. Dad, wait. Dad. Dad, wait. 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 Can you just listen to me for one second? Look, I had something really important to talk to you about and I was feeling restless. I called you, but your phone was going on voicemail, so I had to come see yeah, you. Yeah, see what I was up to, right? You were spying on me, Abby. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. If you weren't, you would have just come straight up to me. Instead, I turn around and see you following Steve and I all the way to the shop. Well, you said you took pack lunch. Why were you out with Steve anyway? Yeah, I did. I went for a walk. With Steve? I don't know, Rosie. I thought this was funny, but it's gone too far. Like, Abby, you should know. Steve is... Steve what, huh? I don't think I can trust your words anymore. 
you don't trust me. Well, if you don't trust me, perhaps we shouldn't be together. Rosie, I didn't mean that. Rosie! Hey, where are you going? Rosie, I'm talking to you. I'm going shopping before Steve's party. Wait, I'll come with you. No, I'm late already. I'm going straight there. If you want to come, you know the address. I'm going anyway. Thank you, sure. Dad. How are they? They are fine. But they're killing me with this arranged marriage thing, dude. Dad is forcing me to select someone. He's even booked my tickets to India. I'll have to go back in two weeks' time. So is that such a bad thing? Look away. Don't mind that I'm saying this to you, but... Living together, dating with Rosie is all fine. Yeah? But their culture is completely different from ours. Their habits, their lifestyle, their nightlife, is way forward than us. Tonight she will be with you and tomorrow with someone else. And it's common for them. In case in future, if you want to ship to India, will she judge there? Huh? And most important than that, how will your parents react about her? Hmm? Will they accept her? Sure. I'm already confused. You're just making it much worse, dude. Just leave this marriage topic for some time and talk about something else. So, what else? How's Bhavik? Don't ask, man. She's still mad at me because of Rosia. Yeah. You know, it was really hard to manage Sunita that night. And please, tell Rosie not to mention about me to Sunita again, okay? Rosie, man. She almost killed me, yeah? Why can't you be honest to Bhavi for a change instead of blaming Rosie for everything? Glad you can make it. Looks like you guys are having a great time. Sorry to disturb you. Have fun. Abby, wait. That is completely different. How will your parents react to it? Tonight she will be with you, and tomorrow with someone else. 
and it's common because that's such a bad thing. हाँ डैड तुझे एक ईमेल का रिप्लाई करने के लिए कितना टाइम लगेगा अभी मैं यहाँ पे जबान दे चुका हूँ और तू मेरा इज्जत निकाल रहा है तू रिप्लाई क्यों नहीं देता सॉरी डैड मैं अभी भेजता हूँ अच्छा मैं तेरे फ्लाइट टिकट बुक कर दिए एक बार ईमेल में आइटनरी चेक कर लेना ठीक है ओके डैड ओके बाय I'm sorry. Just wait. All this. I was feeling bad about what happened earlier. I wanted to help you with this insecurity thing you're having about Steve. And then I found all this shit. What are you talking about? I know, Abby. I know everything about how you're going to India to marry some girl. So tell me, which one of these is the nice Indian girl who can cook? Oh, Rosie, listen. Now everything is falling into place. You didn't want to meet my parents. You didn't want your parents to know I even existed. Like, you're ashamed of me. No, no, Rosie, it's not what like that. What is this? What am I to you? I loved you. And I thought you felt the same. You were just... Using me? I was just some fling to you before you got married. No, Rosie, you stop. You used me. It's you not like lied that. to me. You made a fucking fool out of me. Rosie. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Get out, Naira. I'm calling the Rosie. police. Just go. Just get the fuck out. Wish that I could share these stars with you. I wish that we could see the same view. But you're so far away. Can you hear me say?
strength and courage to be free I felt all of your love It helped me rise above myself well, There's an ocean between us A whole different sky Still think about you, the days roll on by I'm living my dreams, it's been a good year But it's not the same without you here Like parallel lines, we are the same We never meet eye to eye are we so different, so many miles apart? Or are we beneath the same sky? Same sky, you and I. Same sky, you and I. Sorry for what I said to you at the pub last time. Hey, please. It's not you. It's me who has to apologize to you. Giving you wrong advice about Rosie. I thought you were just passing time with her, yaar. And I didn't know that you are so serious about her. I myself didn't know that I was so serious about her. How would you know? Please, please, don't lose hope, okay? Everything would be all right.
Afternoon. How's your head? I hear how you could speak in Chinese. I'm sorry, I didn't intend to sleep with you. But I did. Take it easy. It's cool. You're not the first. Don't worry about it. But I really didn't. What the? That way! going to stay here, huh? Why? What happened? This house is not a hotel to throw all this rubbish everywhere. Whole house has become like a dump. Beer cans and rubbish everywhere in the house. Calm down, Sunni. He will feel bad if he hears you. He's feeling low. Give him some time. I wanted him to hear. Are you going to clean this mess up? Huh? I'm not going to clean it. Oh, I don't know how people eat like this without any shame. Shameless. It's okay. No, S stop crying. I think we'll be okay. You're a real mess. supposed to go to India soon. Did you come here to tell me that? No. Look. He, he's supposed to go, but he doesn't want to. Please understand something. His parents, they have arranged this marriage because they think it will make him happy. 
But, uh, but I know he loves you. He's a nice boy. Don't throw this away. It's over between us. I think you'd be better off with some nice Indian girl. Are not going, yeah? Nope. So, change your career then? Yeah, finally. Look, Steve, I'm sorry for the way I behaved at the party. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it. When? Congratulations. For what? I think you and Rosie are together now, right? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why would it be with Rosie? I'm gay. What? Well, you, you didn't know? Are you serious? Dude, I'm damn serious, Tony. Is that why you acted so weird at my party? Oh, wow. I know. I got this. I got I got this. Just go. Thanks, mate. Yeah, thank you so much. I believe it's really important to be in love with the person you marry. And how can I be in love with someone I never met? You didn't give me a chance to explain, Rosie. I know I lied. But it was completely wrong of me. But I was only scared of losing you. I've been a fool. You were trying so hard 
helped me accomplish my dream. Although I've realized that dream don't need much unless you're there to share it with me. Rosie, I love you. I love you very, very much. Will you please forgive me for the stupid mistakes I made? What are you doing here? You... Uh, here... Uh, how... Fucking speaking Chinese again, eh? Do you two know each other? Just that guy I was telling you about. The one I spent that weird night with. James, this is Abby. Rosie, I need to tell you. I can't believe you slept with her. I didn't sleep with her. Then? She slept with me. Well, what exactly is the difference? <sighs> what have I done? Just tell her. You haven't done anything. You couldn't even walk that night, let alone anything else. You fell over. Your clothes got all wet. You're right. You didn't intend to sleep with me. You really didn't want to. <laughs> So you guys made a fool out of me, huh? Maybe. I missed you so much. What about me then? Yes? I'm gonna kill you. You wanna run? <laughs> Wait. Why didn't you tell me that Steve was gay? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just like the fact that you cared enough to be possessive and jealous about me. I'm sorry. You know you're crazy, right? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Every time I feel 